practicing active listening and inquisitive engagement in English conversations. Hello, learners. Today, we're going to dive into the art of active listening and asking questions in English, with a special focus on cultural sensitivity. This is an essential skill in conversational English, allowing you to express your likes and dislikes while avoiding offensive language or expressions. Active listening is a key element of effective communication. It involves focusing on the speaker, understanding their message, responding appropriately, and then remembering the information. Active listening allows us to empathize with the speaker and understand their perspective, which is especially crucial when communicating across different cultures. It's more than just hearing the words. It's about understanding the emotions and intentions behind them. Some tips to practice active listening are be present in the conversation, avoid distractions, show your listening through body language such as nodding your head, don't interrupt the speaker, provide feedback to the speaker. You can summarize what they said to show that you understand their point. Asking questions not only shows that you're interested, but it also gives you a chance to clarify misunderstandings and learn more about the speaker's culture and perspective. Here are some tips to enhance your questioning skills in English. Use open-ended questions. They invite the speaker to share more information and feelings. Examples are, how do you feel about? Or, can you tell me more about? Use follow-up questions to dig deeper into the topic. Always be respectful and considerate with your questions. When communicating with people from different cultures, it's important to be sensitive to their customs and beliefs. This is where active listening and asking questions come in. By actively listening, you can pick up cues about the speaker's cultural norms and values. By asking respectful questions, you can gain more insight into their culture. Remember that some topics may be sensitive or taboo in some cultures. If you're unsure, it's best to ask about their comfort level before proceeding with a potentially sensitive topic. To wrap things up, active listening and asking questions are key skills in English conversations and can help you navigate cultural differences with respect and understanding. Remember, it's all about empathy, respect, and a genuine interest in learning from one another. Keep practicing, and you'll be a master of culturally sensitive conversations in no time. Until next time, happy learning!